Hello and welcome back to Hello World. This is the second part of the video for the Payoneer account. The first part is where I explain how to open a completely verified Payoneer account. The link is in the description if you guys haven't seen it yet. So let's get started with today's video. This video is all about how to make a payment request in Payoneer account. Let's log into our Payoneer account. I'll tell you why Payoneer account is so useful in a while. Firstly, to make an invoice for the payment, we go here to receive. And you can see these three methods. They are request a payment, global payment services and mass payout companies. I use both request a payment and global payment services. Let's see global payment services first. Now this is why I said this account is so useful. With Payoneer account, no matter in which country you are, you have a virtual bank account in these selected countries. This is very helpful for payment method in many sites. Whether you are freelancing or opening a business, suppose if you have a client from USA and you want your payment, then all you have to do is click this and there you have it your own bank in USA. You just have to give these details to your client and when your client deposits the payment, the amount will be loaded in your Payoneer account. You can add up to 5 accounts from these countries, USA, Japan, UK, Singapore, Canada and Europe. Now let's move to our second option for payment. Go to receive and request a payment. Here you are going to add a new payer and then enter the details given by your client. Enter the company name, their website URL, contact first name, contacts last name, email, and then finally country. I'll show you an example. Let's go back because I've already added my client. I've already filled in the details from my previous transactions. Now you type in the amount then a description of your work that you did. For example, if you did some transcription work, then put for transcription or anything that describes your work. Then you fill in the payment due date. Then finally hit next. Now you can attach up to five documents like your invoice or work contract to your payment request. If you don't have an invoice, then you can create one Click create a professional invoice, then click create a new invoice. Then type in all the details that you have. Put in your invoice number, then click add new item. Then you put in your item description. Now since I don't need this, so I'm going back to my previous page. Then finally request payment. The payment will be sent to your client. They will get an email requesting to pay for your work. If you want to share a direct link, you can copy this and then send it to your client. And here you can manage your payment request. If you want to modify your payment request, maybe you put in the amount wrong or any details, then you can cancel your payment request from here and then make a new payment request. So that's it for today. I tried making this video to the point. I hope this video was helpful to you all. Also hope that you guys liked the video. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button and join us by subscribing you guys. It motivates us a lot. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.